Well, Mike, I believe I am much like MJF in the fact that there are a lot of people out to get me. So it could be any one of a number of masked figures. Perhaps a devil himself is in charge of whoever's showing up later on in the show. I got no clue, Mike. It could be old Barry Alvarez for all we know. That's it. Maybe he found that jar of blubber. Uh, maybe that's what he's searching for today. But, uh, you know, we look, we, you talked about the devils, and we got the guests coming up in the last segment. We'll go through in the next segment everything that, that came down and the, as much of a report as we can do in those 12 minutes on AEW Dynamite. But what were your thoughts overall about the show as you watched it th- this morning? And obviously, you know, you don't have to pick it apart or anything like that. But when it comes to the MJF and Devil storyline, are you interested in this as a fan and as a viewer? Are you still enthralled in what they have going on? Or are you kind of hoping this thing comes to an end? Because it seems to be real 50-50. You either love it or you absolutely hate it. I, I'm i okay with it, you know. I think the controversy kind of lies i guess with last night's dynamite in the fact that you have one crew of fans who would prefer this devoted sports style product and then at the same time hating anything that's sports entertainment based if i'm if i can use some finger quotes there uh, and then you have another side of fans who love the sort of storyline driven you know aspect of pro wrestling and could care less about the in-ring action being the focal point and i think you need a mix and i think last night's dynamite was a good mix now this devil storyline i think has gone on longer than they anticipated perhaps because of a number of injuries setting it back obviously mjf is injured adam cole has been injured who i would believe is an integral part of this storyline. And I think wrapping it up, or at least having some major advancements at the pay-per-view this week, will go a long way in kind of quenching the fans' thirst for something new. The Bloodline storyline in WWE has been going on for years, right? And there's often times where fans go, oh my God, this is dragging on, it's taking forever. And then something will happen and the tune will change very, very quickly as if fans are fickle (laughs) in some ways. Uh, So I think that that is kind of going to be the case here. I think we're going to get some sort of reveal at the pay-per-view, whether it'll be the devil himself being revealed, maybe one of the new ROH tag team henchmen will be revealed. There's a lot of different ways you could go. You could reveal the devil and then we don't know who the henchmen are. You could reveal one of the henchmen, and then we don't know who anybody else is. It could be somebody that no one is really anticipating, and then you're left wondering, well, if it's not Adam Cole, if it's not Roddy, if it's not all these other people that we've been led to believe, where do they lie with the devil? So I am, I guess as you can tell by the last minute of my what I've been saying, I am intrigued to see what's going to happen here. Thank you for coming to, to Filthy's TED Talk that he, that he just did there. That, <laughs> well, look, can anything actually live up to what they've built up so far? You know, Adam Cole is going to be out for a while. It would make perfect sense in the way that he, you know, basically forced Samoa Joe onto MJF that Adam Cole would be the one, but he obviously is hurt right now. Do you do you think that they he may have been the person, but now they've had to pivot because he is going to be out physically for so long? Or does it really matter as long as he, he could be the one sitting in the wheelchair now with his foot or something like that if the reveal happens to be him? And because I think he would still be the best one out of almost of everybody. I mean, I can't even see somebody from the outside uh, from who used to be in WWE coming in and having as much impact and something that would be accepted by because not everything, no matter what they do, somebody's going to complain about. 
when the reveal happens who it is. So you're not going to make everybody happy there, but I think you probably would make the most people happy with an Adam Cole because otherwise, kind of looking at it, is Mustafa Ali that guy? You know, is, is Jack Perry, you know, Jack Perry from the AEW side, and then from an outside point of view, would Mustafa Ali be have the most impact as being the devil? That is a name that I honestly hadn't really considered. I don't know that that's how you bring him in. Yeah, it would be that to. wouldn't be the way. And this was kind be. of set up a, a long time. When did this storyline begin? When did the devil first appear? I believe it was before Mustafa Ali was released. Now that doesn't mean you can not change the outcome of of the storyline, obviously. But I think when it comes down to this, I think the best thing to do is the most obvious answer. That is Adam Cole, right? Now, yeah. how... It not It's definitely not fitting, but how ironic is it that at the end of this, it looks like he's going to end up being a manager? I, I think the, uh, the damnedest thing out of that, if that happens, is turning Keith Lee heel and then pairing him up with this faction and being one of the henchmen. It won't happen, but could you imagine? We'll be back, Wrestling Observer Live. Back on the show, Mike Semper, Vivi, Filthy Tom Mahler here with you, Wrestling Observer Live. A little bit later on, we got our mystery guest coming up. Last time I surprised Tom with somebody, it was Gabe Kid. How we did not get an FCC fine, I have no idea. That was a pleasurable experience well, for you, wasn't it, Filthy? I would say the reason would be because Gabe Kid is not speaking English. <laughs> I can't understand a word that comes out of that guy's mouth. Bruv. Orange sold the knee, which is... He got attacked. I don't remember him getting attacked Matt Menard on said he was attacked the night before, which would have been ROH. So it's probably ROH. Are you smoking or what's happening what? here? I don't, what the fuck? What is happening? I have no Bro. Clue. What is this? Dude. I think there's not, I've changed nothing. Smoking is room. bad enough for you, but you don't need Brian, to do it on the air. What is happening here? God. I, I'm glad I'm not the only one experiencing this. Did you die? <laughs> I've ascended. Yeah. I don't know. And it looks like it's changing colors too, which is weird. It's going from red to blue. What the hell's flashing? <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, everyone's saying, this, shut man. your lines, dude. They're completely closed. Oh, my God. Maybe I open them. What is... There we go. The sun moved? Well, uh, yeah, the sun... Actually, the... No! Oh. Okay. The sun will continue to move, <laughs> and then we'll be able to see again. We then had uh, Abaddon take on Trish Adora. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.